Hi guys, it's me Jenna with the Why Witch Parlor and today I want to talk about cycles. Things that repeat until they are healed and fixed within yourself. If you ever find yourself going through that moment in your life where you say, why does this always happen to me? Or why do I keep running into this problem? It is because you are meant to until the lesson is learned. There is a repetition that will be put forth in front of you until you learn how to either overcome it, heal from it, learn from it, and grow from it. There's always a possibility in every opportunity to grow. Even when you don't win, for example, losing, Oper losing is an opportunity to grow. It teaches you how you can be better, what you could have done differently, how you can change the situation. And when we come in our life and we're doing our thing and you start finding that certain people you attract keep coming back into your life, you will start to eventually say, why do I keep attracting these people in my life? Or why do I keep coming across these situations that are undesirable? And often it is because you haven't learned the lesson yet. So the cycle will continue to repeat until you understand that the lesson is placed in front of you to grow from. So this is something you can teach yourself to overcome through power of meditation and acknowledgement and taking um, basically acknowledgement of what it is you are doing yourself. So accountability is a big one as well. If you find yourself in repetitive patterns in your life that are things that you don't want to be happening, then what can you do to change that pattern? And what can you do today to start changing things rather than saying, I will do this when this changes or I will come across new opportunities when I get to this point. Instead of wishing and waiting and hoping for these things to change, you should take proactive measures today to get the results you want tomorrow. And so when it comes to spiritual growth, cycles are always going to be there. This is how we learn. It is a pattern of us. It is within the cells of our being. It is through everything in life. Nature comes and goes in cycles. Everything is a cycle and it isn't until we break that cycle that it changes. So this can be generational trauma, generational curses, which again is trauma, how we raise our kids, how we parent our kids, um, the way the things we might be doing to our, our children, for example, and the way we're raising them is the same way our parents raised them, our grandparents raised our parents, and if we don't break those cycles, they are just bound to repeat themselves. So how do you say, I want to be accountable, I want to be cognitive enough to understand, I need to change and aware enough to awaken to something greater so that I can stop a pattern and instead attract in greater powers that basically will help propel us into a more abundant mindset and a healthier lifestyle. It's easy to forget these things in our life and it's easy to think that it's just the people, places and things that are put in front of us and we're meant to be with those people or around those people or around those uh, energies. But that's not always so because we need to grow. So you might find in your life, looking back in your childhood even, that certain friends come and go. They don't stay your entire life and then there's a few that might actually stay around the entire life. And this is because there's growth that occurs from those bad friendships you might have had or those bad relationships you might have had in the past. You grew immensely from them. And if it wasn't from those relationships that were maybe toxic or just bad in general, you would have never changed certain aspects. You would have never known to things to look out for in your next friendships and next relationships. So they help to shape and mold you tremendously. And it is for those those things that you might have found to be negative or dark uh, or even low vibrational at the time, even if you were aware of it or not, that those 
actually shaped you for the better. It's that darkness that actually helped to mold you so that you can find your higher light and higher power. And in those moments is when we have to be aware that even if you're having a bad day, you can use that as a catalyst to propel you into something greater. How can you find the good in the bad situations? How can you allow them to shape you? What is a lesson in something that you're going through that might be negative that you can pull from and use it to propel you forward into a greater prosperous life? When you obtain this knowledge and you realize that there is a lesson in everything, good, bad, ugly, indifferent, you will realize that you have such great, immense power to be the greatest version of yourself imaginable. Nothing can hold you down at that point because you know that even when you're going through a bad day, your car is not starting, you're late for work, paychecks lower than you thought it was going to be, all those things are room for growth. All those things are teaching you a powerful lesson. It is up to you to decide if you want to absorb that lesson and see what it is you are meant to learn and grow from with it. It's an opportunity for you to be the best version of yourself and this goes back to your spiritual growth. How can you become the best version of yourself? Should we shun the bad days and only praise the good days? Or should we take all of them equally in balance, analyze them and use them as growth? It's like, do we want that red pill or do we want the green pill? Or do you take both and you find that neutrality and that common ground? You want the good news, the bad news, you want it all. And that's how you find that unity, harmony and balance in your life. Because no life will ever be just all unicorns and rainbows, positive and perfect. There's always gonna be the ups and downs. That is the nature of how we are in our, our existence. So we need to understand that with the good comes the bad and with the bad comes the good and we need to utilize that knowledge to find our balance. Think of your life as the yin and yang. When there is bad, there is a little bit of good in it. When there's good, there is a little bit of bad in it. And if you can really see that as your day-to-day -day life, you will transform so much greater and faster and you will essentially make it to where nothing can hold you down and even when it is it's like I always say the diamond forms under immense pressure it makes us stronger it makes us more beautiful we turn into that butterfly we transform we get stronger we get more powerful emotionally spiritually sometimes physically from setbacks that we incur in life and we need to appreciate them and show gratitude on many different levels, not just when things are going good, but we need to have, have and hold that gratitude when things are going bad as well. If you stumbled across this video, it is not by coincidence. It is by sheer gift of the universe that this was a message that you needed today to realize that it's okay to have bad days. It's okay to have hiccups in your life and setbacks in your weeks, months, years sometimes. It is okay. It's when you learn to stop, analyze, and grow from it, take note of the lesson that's being presented to you and recognize that it is a gift. It is a present for the present moment in your life. And you can utilize that to grow beautifully and become that beautiful shiny diamond because you will grow so tremendously from it if you allow yourself and your soul to grow from it. So I hope this video found you well. I love you all so very much and please catch me on the next one. Bye.